Hey guys, it's Jason from Overhype Studios and we are really excited to be able to show you the new DLC that we have in the works. It is called Beasts and Exploration and it will release on the 29th of November. That is in about two weeks time. So um, let's start with a new campaign and uh, I will go with a custom seed that I'm, I'll be using for this one. So I will put this in the description but there's no use um, uh, trying this out before the DLC releases because it needs the DLC to work probably and uh, we'll be playing on beginner and um, difficulty and high starting funds because talking and playing is really tricky and um, I don't want to embarrass myself uh, so here we go I will try to focus on the new mechanics the new weapons the new enemies and hopefully I will be able to show you a lot um, of the new stuff um, I will not talk so much about the base game mechanics and what you're doing here because uh, I think we've done that a lot and uh, you probably want to see the new stuff. So but for everybody who's new to Battle Brothers um, this is a turn-based tactical game as you can see and the story goes that we are a mercenary company that got ambushed and um, you can see all our dead comrades lying, Battle Brothers lying around and uh, now we have to try to survive this ambush. We have a range brother and two melee guys, one with the big, big old axe and one with a spear and shield. So, um, regarding the um, the new DLC, we, we try to add a little bit to, to every stage of the game. So you won't find all of the new things in the early game. Actually, a lot of new stuff is, um, uh, is in the late game or mid game. So like the legendary locations that you can find, some of them are really hard to find and um, some of them have really, really tricky battles and um, so they're definitely not suited for uh, too early in the game. Um, all the new stuff will spread out nicely so that you will have something new um, all along the way and we didn't want to focus on just one part of the game. Uh, that was important to us. So we beat the bandits that were tried to, that ambushed our our squad and uh, now we're heading back to our um, contract giver who hired us to kill the bandits and um, what will happen now is that he will ask us to finish the job and kill the bandit leader which we will gratefully do and I will skip through many of the texts because um, reading them is a bit uh, uh, too much right now and I want to save some time we have unfinished business with Hoggart. Hoggart is the bandit leader and so we are going to head out and try to kill him. Now this is the first settlement that we have here. It's called Langholz and here you can see something new. It's the um, taxidermist. The taxidermist is a craftsman who can um, use the uh, ingredients from beasts and monsters to craft new stuff. So as you start out you have nothing available here and once you have gathered all the according trophies from the beasts the, the recipes will show up and when you have crafted them once um, the recipe will be there and then it will be highlighted depending on whether you have the, the right materials for it or not. Now let's head over to the next bigger city to hire some more men and um, this is basically basically the tutorial part, so um, I will go through it very, very swiftly and try to get to the new stuff. So now we are asked to hire three, three new men at least and also um, buy some new weapons. And here's also a neat little feature that we've implemented. Um, so now you can actually try out the uh, recruits before buying them. Um, beforehand it was a... Um, pretty much uh, the, the cat in the bag but now you can give them a tryout which will not reveal all the stats but it at least will reveal their character traits and um, sometimes that will uh, alone will help you with deciding against somebody and um, I, I will uh, not do this because I just need three cheap men I will just uh, grab the not so expensive mercenaries here. I want to this maybe just this guy and um, he's a servant. So all these mercenaries have different backgrounds. Most of them are not mercenaries by trade and they don't really want to be a mercenary some of the time. So here we go. This is the shop. We will try to buy some new weapons. I don't want to go through all the items and explain them bit by bit because that would take just too much time. 
Now here we already can see a couple of new weapons. This is for example a throwing spear. It's a throwing weapon that's a consumable and it's uh, designed to um, hit a shield and uh, make it unusable. So it's basically a split shield weapon that you can throw. This is a, a spatome it's called. It's a spear that can already uh, also make a spear wall and repel enemies, really handy. And this is a low tier two-handed uh, wooden hammer that you can already use in the early game. So right now you already have some of the new weapons here. Um, in the beginning of the game I, I really really like to buy uh, spears because they uh, give a to hit bonus. Let's grab some helmets like so, some armors and the shields. Shields are just the real lifesavers in the beginning of the game. And maybe grab another weapon. Just the axe. I think we're fine for now. And let's head back. So here's our objective. We have to return to Langholz. And now we are ready for the fight with uh, Hoggart. I think I will hire one more guy. We still have a thousand crowns left over. We will return with his head, we promise. And um, well, this guy is really expensive, but I it's it's a poacher. They Most of the time they are pretty good uh, ranged stats. So I'm just gonna go all out and hire the guy and have a look. Okay, now I w uh, let's have a look at our troop. First of all, we will want to get the ranged guys in the into the back line. We want our guy with a two-handed weapon. We want to ha him to have a little bit more armor because he doesn't have a shield. And um, this, he doesn't need the armor, the heavy armor, because it's it's not really heavy armor. But uh, in the back line, he's pretty much out of harm's way. So I'd rather p put him in a shirt or something. Like so. Okay, let's have a look at, at the new guys. So this is the um, the poacher that we hired. Uh, his range skill is not so not so really good, but he has a one star a talent. So every time he levels up, it increases a bit more. Um, he's faint-hearted. It's not so good. And um, what have we here? This is the um, servant. He has a decent melee stat. Um, he is loyal, which means he doesn't uh, abandon us as easily, but his resolve is really low, so he likes to run away. Um, this is the Onuch. He's greedy and he's hesitant, so two negative traits. Maybe I should have used the tryout. And also a pretty low um, melee stat, but he's very good in resolve, so we could um, turn, turn him into our banner man maybe later in the game and give him our uh, company standard. And finally we have a uh, juggler, which is huge. This is a new character trait. Um, we added around um, 16 new character uh, traits. And two of them you can already see here. Um, this is huge, it increases melee damage, but it decreases his defense values. And uh, he has a hate for beasts. So every time I, we fight against beasts, um, that counts for all kinds of beasts, he gets a plus 10 resolve, which is pretty substantial. Now these hate um, traits, and they are also fear traits, which lower the resolve, um, they can be uh, gained and lost dynamically during the game. So um, they are not fixed like that. So if you lose against beasts, for example, uh, you can gain this trait, or if you defeat the beasts valiantly, um, you might uh, gain this trait. So let's uh, deck out this last guy, club, target, and a, um, and a hood. Not 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 very helpful, uh, not very good equipment, but uh, for the first fight that's pretty okay. Okay, so do we still we have this armor over? It's um, 50, 50 body armor, which is quite good. Now uh, this is my one of my um, starting brothers, and he is already have the the fat trait, which doesn't really help. It reduces his fatigue. And um, he, for example, has a new trait. It's hate for undead. Let's have a quick look if any other has a, have new traits. Any of the others? No. Okay. Um, here we go. We should head out. This wonky bow is really bad, by the way. You want to get rid of it as fast as possible. And uh, let's give this dagger. This is a little um, advanced technique that uh, many players um, adopted. That is that they um, give daggers and then knives to their frontline um, soldiers and uh, try to uh, 
to kill an enemy which who has valuable armor. Uh, they try to kill him in close combat with the knives because uh, the puncture skill of the knife doesn't damage armor. So that's pretty gruesome. It's really risky. But if you can pull it off, it's, it's really worth your time. Okay, this is um, where the bandit is hiding out. Let's raid his, his uh, hideout. Now, usually I want to wait until they draw closer. So in the first turn, I, I will uh, try and draw them out. This is Hoggard probably, Hoggard the Weasel. And now we want them to come closer. And so I'm just going to wait and act again at the end of the turn. So that, that shot missed, which is really good. And now we want to try to grab the chainmail off of Hoggard. Um, now they opened up a bit to um, for this guy and I will try to rush his archer and uh, try to get into melee combat with him. Let's wait uh, because I want to shoot first. Now it's time for the wonky bow. It's just a 30% chance to hit which is really low and 40% uh, 44% with the aim shot. I will try to shoot him with the, with the quick shot. Maybe I'm lucky. Nope. And this is the crossbow, which is really good against armor because it does a lot of direct damage to hit points. But I want to get rid of this two-handed weapon guy. Well done. And um, let's just move up, put up a shield wall. So shield wall is a really good defensive skill that uh, uh, means that he raises his shield and then um, increases his defense. I'm going to try and stun this guy. 56% missed. Now I'm gonna try and kill him with a X. Well done. Uh, his uh, head is flying off. Just shield wall against this guy. And um, wait what Hogger is going to do. Okay, he's trying to attack. That's not too bad. Archers running away. The archers are really not fond of getting into melee because then they have to, um, to uh, get out their melee weapons. They can't use the bow and it's usually that they have really bad weapons like a a knife or a club or something <laughs> just like my guys a club for example just gonna wait i'm gonna try and destroy the shield of hoggard because that's in my way i really have to get rid of the wonky bow because it has a minus 10 chance to hit get rid of the shield and try to stun him well done and the clubs are really really useful it doesn't uh, do a lot of damage Actually, it does very little damage, um, but it doesn't matter because it has the knockout ability and has a 75% chance to stun a target. And now he cannot act. He's really dangerous with his Falchion sword and he has pretty high skills. And um, this way I can avoid taking damage and I can take out his adds without um, uh, getting smashed by him. Punch. I really want to with this bow as well to to rechange uh, to change it against the the wonky bow. Okay, I think now it's uh, already time for knives. Knives out. This is the um, puncture skill, and uh, it's it's really helpful to try and get the armor of enemies. Uh, but it's also a pretty risky tactic. Oh, I just got my first injury, which is not very good. Nice shot. Try to finish this guy off. Well done. I really have to be careful that he doesn't kill Werner the Berserker right now. And that is why I try to push him away. I use the shield bash so he gets out of touch with uh, with Wernhard. And um, I really want to avoid that situation that uh, Wernhard is getting killed in my first fight. I really like the, as I said before, wow, he does a lot of damage. Maybe I don't try the daggering thing. Let's move up. I missed him two times, so it's just too bad. Just move up here. Now, do I get him into touch again with it, with him? No, I don't think so. He's already fatigued, which is really bad. Now I have this guy, but Joost, I don't care if I lose you. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's try to try and knife this guy. I'm just gonna keep my distance. Maybe at, in some turn, some one turn, I just move in and uh, and uh, try to give it another shot. I damaged his armor a little bit, but oh, there goes Yost. This is my first uh, <laughs> my first loss. 
Now it's time to to grab the knives. And uh, now his armor is a bit damaged, and I'm not guaranteed to to get it. Um, but uh, I will gonna run them down. Um, but if I get it, it, it was worth it, the life of uh, one guy. If I don't get it, it was definitely not, not worth it. Just gonna try and finish him off here. Here you go, poor Joost. He didn't kill anybody and it was his first fight. But here we go, now we have the, the patched mail shirt, which is pretty decent in the beginning of the game. We got a sack of salt, salt which is really good value, some tools, really nice falchion, and we got the bow as well. So. Everything went better than expected, except for poor Joost, of course. Uh, he didn't expect it to go this way. But what can you do? You know, it's a, it's a dangerous world. Anyways, now we're heading back to Langholz. And I'm just gonna skip through these. Uh, still part of the tutorial. And um, we will get our first contract reward, with this, which is about 400 crowns. And um, now we are on our own. Now the whole world is ours to explore and um, something that's really that you can do on the side is trade so here we can get some quality wood which we will grab and in in cities we have added uh, new settlement situations so some of the cities will try and rebuild their attached locations and if they do so they have a really high demand for quality wood and that is why I am buying some let's get some food this is too expensive for me. I, I really want that, but um, it's not going to happen. So let's exchange this wonky bow. So now he's at least not completely useless. Um, we have our first level up um, for our starting bro. I personally really like to go student first, which uh, increases the um, experience gain by 20%. And once you have maxed out, uh, you will get this perk point back, so you don't lose anything as long as your character survives until max level. Um, for the stats, I usually like to pick melee attack, fatigue, fat fatigue is really important if somebody is supposed to wear armor. And for the frontline guys, I like to increase hit points, melee defense and also resolve. So not really sure which one to pick here. I think I'm gonna go with melee defense because this guy will usually not have a shield available. And um, where's our other... So this is the starting row as well. I will give him the, the Falchion, which is a really nice weapon. And the spear, for example, I told you has 20% chance to hit increase, as you can see on the lower end of this tooltip. And that is really, really helpful for a new uh, character. So put the nice chainmail on. I don't want to use the Feng Shai Helm because that's something that uh, most of you will not have uh, available in your campaign. It's uh, the supporter upgrade uh, benefit. And here we go. Let's head out to the um, to the next big city, which is Erlstadt. And I think I saw that a, a contract was available there. So we're heading into Erlstadt. And uh, as you can see, here's the contract um, in the temple you can uh, heal injuries. You don't heal them instantly, but uh, it takes two to five days. And um, if you treat it in the temple, it cannot get infected and it will also heal a lot faster. I will, this is a lot of money, but I want to do this because this is my main damage dealer and I don't want to lose him. Let's have a quick look into the tavern. Sometimes the, the patrons will share some really good information about hidden treasures with you. And let's see if they um, can use some quality wood they do i can sell this for a decent price here which i will do and the salt as well there it goes now get rid of these okay, i'm just gonna get rid of that one um, still good on tools and supplies still good on food on arrows on ammunition that is and i think i will grab the um spitum it's always a good idea to, if you want to, in the early game, to save some money, you go to the marketplace and there's some damaged equipment. For example, this spitum is only on 63% um, quality and that is because it's damaged, but that makes it a lot cheaper. So uh, I will try and, uh, and buy this here and um, we'll give it to a backline bro that I am about to hire. 
Uh, I don't like all these of these characters. They are way too expensive. So I will go to the next settlement and hire somebody there. Let's have a look at the contract. Okay, and um, we have to a escort a um, a caravan, and which doesn't pay a lot. It's just for the to the next city. But I would we just accept it. We want to go there anyways. So it's just a uh, hundred crowns on the side. And if we would get attacked by raiders, we will get paid extra, but um, I don't think we will. Now, we can pick an ambition. And um, ambitions are something, some goals that you can set yourself for your, um, for your company. And with the new DLC, we also added uh, new ambitions uh, to the list um, that you can pick and fulfill. And uh, so we try to expand on on almost all mechanics that we have in the game to, to, to give more options and more choices to them. I think we get should get back to a dozen men. That's pretty simple for the beginning and um, it's, it's something that you really want. You want to get some reserves. Okay, well done. Now it's nighttime, all the shops are closed. And um, because we brought the caravan here, there's a um, the town is well supplied. Let's have a quick look around. I think we should head up to um, this little town over here. And uh, maybe they have some work for us. We just cut through, um, uh, don't follow the road. This is a bit quicker. Sometimes you will run into new enemies or monsters or locations uh, while you go there. Okay, so in the settlement, something seems odd. There's terrified villagers and there's a contract. So maybe there's a connection there. So, um, we meet somebody who wants to hire us. It's uh, Siegfried of Schnellen. And he tells us that grave robbers are plundering the cemetery. And um, he wants us to take care of it. Well, sounds easy enough, doesn't it? We're gonna try and ask for a little bit more money. Um, but we don't want to push him too much. We get um, 440 crowns total, which is pretty decent in the early game. And so we will accept. I really want, to want one more guy. Now they only have red catchers, which I personally don't really like. But these are two identical, so maybe I could tr uh, try and show you the new tryout mechanic. So I'm gonna give him a tryout, and now I can see he's swift. This is a new character trait as well. It gives plus five range defense. And optimist. Uh, this is a really helpful trait. And um, so a red catcher is not a good background, but he is really, really cheap and he has um, two good traits. And you know what? This guy is really cheap as well. We're gonna, we're gonna go all through human wave. Now let's have a quick look at you. And um, there, this guy, and this guy is also swift. This is, <laughs> okay, the, the, um, the red catcher brothers, both are swift. And this guy is also a Spartan. He doesn't eat a lot. Um, 50 is decent for melee skill. He has two stars on melee defense and two on range defense and one on morale. This is a decent guy actually. And now this guy has two stars on, on ranged skill. And I think we can turn him into a ranged character pretty easily. Now let's um, find somebody that we want to give the um, speed home to. It's kind of somebody with a high melee skill. No. Let's just give it to this guy. Um, like so, we're gonna keep him in the in the back line, and um, oh, there's not a, not a lot of equipment left for this <laughs> uh, for this red catcher. Let's quickly have a look if we can buy him some at least some armor. Uh, everything's really expensive over here. We're just gonna get him a, a decent shield and a spear. There you go, and just grab. So, this armor is a bit too good for somebody standing in the back line. Put him in the, in the middle. Like so, this is a bit of a switching around. And um, do we have one more head? Yes. Because if somebody doesn't have anything covering his head, he's usually toast in the first fight that he's into. Okay, let's um, head out. This is the, um, the final part of the Let's Pray. 
And um, once we have done this, this fight, um, we will return to town. And I think that's the end of this episode. Okay, let's have a look. Um, a man lingers deep in the rows of tombstones. He seems to be wavering, as though ready to pass out. Rupert Longnose comes to your side and shakes his head. That's no man, sir. There's under the foot. Just as he finishes talking, the stranger in the distance slowly turns and then a light reveals he's missing half his face. Okay, so this is definitely not a um, grave robber. It's more like a Wiedergänger, I would suppose. And indeed, now this is the, the best scenario I can have for show off the, um, the Spätum. Because the zombies are one of the few enemies that really love to just run into spear walls. Um, most other enemies will avoid it because they are not completely stupid and um, the Wiedergängers are just really mindless zombies and they just start running at you and uh, just keep charging into spear walls so this is the best scenario that we can have just move up just a little bit I can just end my turn because um, uh, the zombies or the Wiedergängers will take a while to, to get to us and um, there's also a new retreat mechanic in the game um, beforehand the combat would just um, abort and every everybody in the company would um, receive a, a temporary in injury. Um, thing is now, if in a situation like this, if I just click flee, there's no real reason why I should receive any injuries. So now we made it that the characters actually flee once you press the button. They get a high increase to their defense values so that they have a high chance to disengage. And also the game is sped up a lot and uh, during that time. And that way we, we try to make it a bit more realistic. Now I'm using the spear wall with the, with the spitum. It's, it's just one tile, but it does a, does a lot more damage than a normal spear. Um, now three guys with spear wall. And um, we think that the new flea mechanic or retreat mechanic is much more realistic than the old one and also is not as easily exploitable and is a, a lot more fun to use. Here we go, let's uh, try and uh, shoot them a little bit, soften them up. And there was a spatum attack already, nice one. So this is the ideal weapon uh, for the zombies. As you can see, they just keep charging into the into these three guys with the spear wall up, and they just get repelled and 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 pushed back. Uh, or not? Maybe I was a bit too confident um, because of they they just use a normal attack. Sometimes when they have low melee uh, values, um, of course they will miss an attack, and then it's it's the end of story. But it still does a lot of damage. I'm just gonna try and retreat a bit here because I don't want to, this guy without shield uh, stuck in close combat. Spear wall down. Just gonna wait with this guy. There's like one with a little bit of armor. Well done. Just slashed him down with the sword I looted earlier. Now here you can see that spear wall is really effective if you if you if you hit your attacks. The zombies just just kill themselves on it without uh, getting any attacks then he's trying to bite me let's just keep doing this this guy is uh, what i'm a bit scared of but if i manage to kill him without destroying his helmet i can maybe loot it okay oh there are some wiedergangers coming back up from the dead I think I can try and do this again, like so. Soften them up. Well, wow, that looks like I, I hit the body, so the helmet should be there, which would be really, really good. Especially hits to the head, they do um, additional damage, critical damage, and um, if you are not careful, they can take they can take you out really easily. Now I gonna we're gonna try and put them fine down finally. Maybe this was a bit overconfident. Let's try and end this, end them rightly. Oh, there they uh, start coming back up again and pushing my guys around, and then that was a bit of a mistake. Stay down. Now we added something, some something new as well. That is for pole arms. No clear line of, of sight, unfortunately. Pole arms now have a reduced chance to hit um, 
when you are close to them. And um, this way we wanted to... Now oh, the helmet is gone. That's really bad. And that way we wanted to make them a, a bit less um, flexible and a bit more suited to fight on longer ranges. And now if you fight against somebody with a polearm, you can just close the distance and get them in a really bad spot. And um, here's another new thing that I want to point out, and it's the end round button. And um, now, when you push that, everybody in your in your crew is ending the turn. It was a requested feature that many people asked for, and so we put it in the game. Now we got two level ups. That was a pretty easy fight. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get any loot, two two gold crowns, but we are we are getting paid to do this, so everything's good. We didn't lose a lot, we just need four tools and supplies to repair the damages. And um, there we go, back to Schnell. So here we go. This uh, The settlement situation is now resolved, the people are not lo no longer terrified by the Wiedergängers and we get our crowns. Crowns well deserved, here we go. So um, I think this is enough for the first episode. I would try to keep the series as long, um, going as long as possible and uh, trying to show you some more new stuff. I'm not really sure when the new episode will upload, but if you have any questions or remarks um, about the new DLC, please feel free to, to put them in the comments and I would try to, to answer them. All right, thanks a lot for joining me and I'm looking forward to showing you the next episode. Bye.